Hello, it's Father Samuel with the Word of Hope for Thursday of the 18th week of Ordinary Time. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord. That great moment, we hear about it in the Gospel of Matthew today, that Jesus took Peter, James, and John and went up a high mountain and was transfigured before them, shown to be truly God, made bright as white and glowing with light. A magnificent, beautiful moment. But it's important to understand the context of where this comes in the Gospel of Matthew. Just before this moment, Jesus tells his disciples for the first time that he will be crucified, will die, and will rise from the dead. And just after that, if that wasn't hard enough to hear, he tells them that they too must take up their cross. They're going to follow him. That to be a disciple is not just to enjoy those good times, the great and miraculous things, the good news that Jesus prays and preaches, but also to receive the difficulty, the hardship, and to realize that he himself, the Savior, the Messiah, the one who they begin to see is good, that he too is going to die. This must have been a test of faith for them a very large test of faith, to hear the words from Jesus that he would be crucified and die. Rising from the dead, it doesn't really make sense to them yet. It hasn't yet happened. And so Jesus strengthens their faith, at least that of Peter, James, and John there on top of the mountain as he is transfigured before them. He shows them the broader context of the story, he shows them who he truly is, and he plants this knowledge, this memory in their minds. Now, you and I, we all have our transfiguration moments, those moments in life where we've known who Jesus is, where Jesus, through our activities, has revealed himself to us. Perhaps it was a significant moment in life the birth of a child, or marriage, or entrance into religious life or holy orders. Perhaps it was just a beautiful day, a sunrise or a sunset, or some act of nature that just showed you that God is here and God loves you. We have these moments on which we can hold, these moments which remind us of God's goodness. It's important to be able to return to these moments in those dark times in life. Did the apostles remember this moment when they stared upon Jesus on the cross? Did they remember that they had seen him as God? Or did they let their fears get the best of them? So yes, this tool of our memory and the blessings of those transfiguration moments that Jesus has given to us they're important for us as we hold on hope for this life. May God bless you today and every day as you hold on to his hope.